Hi guys, welcome to our new video today. I am Bilofer from Me With A Pencil. Today, continuing our basic video series, we are going to be painting some fruits. Yes, we are going to be using a wet on wet technique and painting apples and bananas and then how to paint a pattern all together. So you can see there are different berries, there's leaves that I've added. You can get, uh, you can learn to how to paint a leaf from the previous videos. I have attached. Uh, I'm linking the video on the right, top right corners. And uh, yes, so let's get started. Let's paint apple first today, and then step by step we we'll learn how to paint banana and how to put them together into a pattern. So let's begin. So to begin, uh, I'm going to be using a normal a round brush, four number brush. For this, we need a 100% cotton paper because we're going to be doing a nice uh, wet or wet technique. So let's uh, try to use a 100% cotton paper. Any cotton paper is okay, chitra part um, or chitra part is the cheapest, but that's also good for this technique. I am using an art essential 100% cotton paper. So let's begin. Uh, obviously, a clean jug of water and tissue papers. That's really important. And colors, not to forget. So to begin, I'm going to dip my brush. I'm going to dip my brush into water, and I'm going to be creating a water puddle over here. Uh, the water puddle will be shape of an apple because we're painting an apple first. So here, if you cannot see what you're painting, just lift the paper a little, tilt the paper a little, and then you can see. Right? So it's the water will shine, and then you can see your apple. So I've painted. I've painted the. You can see a very basic shape of the apple. Now. Since I'm done, I'm just going to lift up and you can see. Since I'm done painting a puddle, now we'll quickly, okay, now we'll quickly start painting, adding a color, okay. Now we'll quickly start adding color. I'm taking a red color, red, which is red, and I'm going to start applying the color on the corner first. So you get a nice burst color burst and I'll call it a color burst. I'm doing it on different corners of my apple at the moment. Then I'm going to quickly rinse my brush, dry my brush, dry the brush and then swiftly just spread the color. So this is also like I'm applying a layer, the base layer of the apple. Alright. Now, for me, my uh, light source of this apple is from here. It's coming from this side. Okay, so this side of my apple is going to be light. This is the light source of my apple. What? Right? So this is going to be light. This, this this area of my apple is going to be whitish, light, red, whatever, and this is going to be a dark area. Okay. Now let's start putting more color before the water, the paper starts drying. Since I'm using a hundred percent cotton paper, it's nice. Uh, it stays wet for a longer period of time. So please, for this technique, use a hundred percent cotton paper. And for just a little bit tint and creating different a little texture. I've added another layer, layer, another color. This is the second color that I'm adding. This is a magenta, pinkish magenta. This was my first color. That is a, a proper bright red. You can use either any color. That's not okay. Any brand is okay. Mm -hmm. 
just applying some base color everywhere so that it just nicely bursts out and when it's settling it will give you a nice texture now once you see that it's bursting out i don't want these kind of you know veins coming out so i'm gonna quickly nicely blend it remember the blending videos from previous just, if you haven't seen them please go and go in the back look at them do the basics and come back again you'll enjoy more blending and creating this apple so nicely blending both the colors now my apple is starting to look like really fresh juicy okay so i'm keeping this area light because this is my light source and i'm done i'm taking now more of this red and i'm applying it here this is where i'm going to be putting my or there where i'm going to be painting my stem now for the stem i'm using any sap green you can use any sap green for it whichever you like that's how my stem is going to be looking you can um also do is use a little brown let's use a little brown this is the brown i'm using you can also use a brown all right and then do the sap green like i'm applying some green over here you see yes nice and pretty now let's add a little second layer of this both colors is quickly the color sweeps in and creates a nice layer of another sooty layer so it's shifting it to become 3d okay. so i want to make it a little darker here because it's that will give you a nice yes if you see Adding some colors over here, making it be darker. As the paper is drying, my color the texture would start changing. It won't be the way if you if you notice when you are putting color now. As the paper is drying, it changes. It looks very different. Now. Here I'm gonna add a little brown or a green to give a nice base color on the side, on the bottom. Too much, I'm just removing some of it. Now I'm just giving a little bit of brownish grey color here. Just for fun, creating a little shadow. Last layers of the red. It looks red. Just in the base. And that's about it. If you have more little layer wire on the side on the sides, you can just rework on it a little bit and then your some. Correcting some of your this is this one little this one. If you want to add more leaves, you can the color. That's it. We had some fun and enjoyed the video. So stay tuned for the next part two. Alright, so now let's paint a apple slice all right we'll be using the same techniques that we used to paint the apple but just with the colors would be a little different so let's go
so that's it for now if you guys enjoyed the video like comment or share the video and subscribe to our channel for more content every week do come back next week we will be painting a banana using the same techniques so see you guys next week and bye bye